got a lot of rain last night, guys. There's actually a creek back there. Dutch Creek runs back there. And uh, this is all run off from the mountains on the other side of the uh, north side. Hope you can see that. It always floods pretty good in there. I'm just back here taking a walk. I'm going to get a... I'm going to take all this Chinese privet down so I got a much better view and cut that big old dead pine tree down. Uh, that died last year, I believe. But I'm buying a pretty powerful still weed eater that I'm going to put the chainsaw blade on. And that's perfect for all this stuff that's about an inch around. It's the only way to really get rid of it. And then I'm going to have to chop up the roots and you know my theory is you cut stuff down enough it gets mad and it won't come back but it's 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 pain and i've got really good views if i get this stuff out of the way let me come back here you can see how tall this stuff is but just imagine the view i'll have when i cut all that down and i ain't gonna do it all in one day you know a little bit at a time. Yeah, let's go down this trail. It takes an awful lot to keep these trails maintained in the summer. It's a lot of weed eating. And this weed eater I'm getting is going to have a harness that I strap around my back and it helps hold the weed eater up. So that's going to be a lot easier on me. See, all this stuff just gets out of hand, and I need to take it down. Man, I don't know how many times I've cut that oak tree. You can see I cut it down a few years ago. It just keeps coming back, so we need to take care of that. I don't need any more trees. That one's only two years old, because I had all this in the center part cut down two years ago. <sighs> right here I'd like to set up make a little bench you know I don't want to cut all this down and make it clear I just want to cut it down lower and make a little more room I try to maintain about a two foot distance as you can see on each side of the trail don't like uh, limbs hitting me ticks jumping off and a few years ago I started clearing all this out <laughs> it's just so much work you know without the right equipment so I'm gonna be investing in a lot of good lawn equipment this year and also gonna get the battery powered chainsaw uh, I'm very impressed with those things I kind of laughed at people when I first saw saw them with the electric chainsaws but uh, them things have come a long way and the guy told me the still it'll it'll last longer than I will so we're gonna try that out too that's gonna be real nice for trees just like that that one I have to actually left there I don't know what kind it is but it's pretty cool when it all blooms out all right I'm gonna try to I got some saw blades I'm gonna try to go cut that piece off the house just giving you a look around here and actually my property goes to that big tree that last big tree there is about where my this is my second piece of property they're both connected uh, but it ends there it's mostly swamp in there there's not much I can do with it but if I wanted to I could clear it maybe put some goats or something but I don't need any more animals to feed this time you know with the prices the way they are all right guys that's a fire ant mound watch this watch him do it they're gonna come coming out of there. They're mad. These ain't be on you in a heartbeat. You don't wanna be lit up by them things. Maybe they'll get mad and move. Alright guys, there's that piece I'm getting ready to cut off. Uh you know, I like you guys and everything, but uh, 
I'm fixing to uh, let's put you up there to see if those wasps come out of there. See if they'll sting you before they get me. Let me put this up here. Are they in there? I don't see any. I do got some wasp spray I picked up if they are. Not the time of day to spray them. Yeah, they if they were in there, they'd already be attacking. Oh, there's one. All right, you guys didn't get stung, so maybe I won't either. All right, let's get this going. All right, guys. I had to go buy some Allen wrenches to change this blade, or I was going to do it yesterday. I hate these kind of packages. You know how you open these kind of packages? You just take a pair of scissors. There you go. Oh, Wong Fu over there in China. He's laughing, thinking I'm having trouble getting this out. Uh-uh, Wong Fu. I ain't having no trouble. Look at that first time. This is an older sawzall. Usually they have a quick release. Not this dude. Okay. Look at them big dudes. Same thing. There you go. See Wong Fu over there in China? Bet they're made in China. Made in Switzerland. Man, these are going to be good then. Everything they make is pretty sharp. Uh, sorry there, Swiss, Swiss, Swiss mess. Whatever your Swiss names are. All right, then you go. What's up here? All right, I've got my 900 feet of extension cord run. I'm going to put an outlet back here real soon. We are ready to chop. All right, I'll figure I'll lose them in about a week. All right, we're ready to... Climb up here. Hopefully we don't get stung. But, you know, if you don't like wasps or flying insects, don't move to Arkansas because you're going to deal with it constantly all summer. I try to find out where they go. Usually I'll spray them in the spring once they're established. I don't usually have much trouble with them. But bumblebees are coming out. They don't bother you unless you try to swat at them or something, which the dogs do. Now right, let's go get this thing down. aggressive this time of year. to uh, disconnect this plumbing.
this is a fight getting this thing off guys problem is see i gotta pull the shingles off because it's got that flashing which it's supposed to have so i have to pull that uh, flashing loose and then uh, i went through most of this with that sawzall and cut the nails where it's uh going up into the house <laughs> look at all the wasp nests that were in here a lot of them fortunately no live ones but i've been seeing them fly in and out of there so i got lucky all right i'm not gonna film tearing the rest of this off i'll come back when it's done who knows man i've been at it for an hour already and it ain't fun but we'll get it off and uh then we're gonna string out the area for the where i'm putting the uh sunroom all right all right i got it off without no damage to the wall really but look at this guys right where i was cutting and i don't think that one's active but they are flying around that oh i'll be hitting that in there good tonight uh that one they still might be using it i don't know they're going in there so another reason to get rid <laughs> Good reason to get rid of those stupid things. All right, I'm gonna go rest for a while and uh, catch my breath, and then we'll come out and string this out. All right, guys, I lost the string I just bought this morning, so I can't string that out. <laughs> so, actually, this is the first in a long series of building this greenhouse screen in porch uh didn't do a lot today but every little bit gets me a little further uh we got that piece behind me uh tore off we spin it around here uh i'm going to show you what they did there used to be a laundry room right here this is why this none of this is painted and, and that used to be the door well, the upstairs patio, this is the ledger board that they had for the upstairs patio. And I guess that's fine. But uh, see this piece of trim right below it? They had joist hangers stuck to that and they didn't even fit on there for the roof uh, of this laundry room. It was terribly built. I mean, it leaked and flooded and everything else. So I fixed all them problems. I'm pulling that old ledger board off and that piece of trim. I'm going to put a 2 by 12 across there. Um, and it'll, it'll be big enough to do the upstairs patio and the floor uh, roofing, the joists, uh, hangers for the roof. So uh, i got to get that finished up. I'm going to spray that tonight. So, all right, guys. Well, I'm just going to get this all cleaned up here. We got a big pile of stuff get all this cleaned up and uh, get this thing uploaded